All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. y'all it's your girl Xavia and I'm back at y'all with another video oh my god y'all everybody like Xavia where is you at where is you at where is you at y'all I'm right here that's why I be encouraging y'all well that don't even matter because I was gonna say that's why I be encouraging y'all to like follow my IG and Facebook because if I'm not on YouTube I'm most definitely on IG or Facebook but that don't even matter because my supporters been hit me up, Xavier. Why aren't you on YouTube? Oh, somebody go say, somebody go say, uh, you 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 got all this time to be on Instagram, but you ain't on YouTube. I'm talking about checking me, like slow your roll, slow down. No, but y'all, I love how y'all support me. Um, but I'm back. Uh, y'all, I've been just doing a lot of intimate stuff. Like, uh, I been I went to Chicago for my friend's birthday party. Um. Uh, the, yesterday we hit was that yesterday Friday we hit Devon birthday party friend birthday party was in Chicago so we was in Chicago me and the kids went for Saturday we came home Sunday because y'all know Z started back school and then we came back I did a, I had a few stuff to do in Atlanta now I'm here with y'all y'all got my unabated attention <laughs> So y'all, today I'm gonna be doing a Q and A. I asked uh, some of my YouTube supporters to send me some questions, which they did. I'm gonna try to go through all 74 questions. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. First question: Are you in block? Wait, why is this the first? Question? <laughs> Are you in block getting a divorce for real? Did you really sign those papers? Y'all started early, y'all. This is literally the first question up there. That was literally the first question up there. Um. Did I really sign those papers? No, I haven't signed no divorce papers yet. Are y'all really getting a divorce? As of now, I don't know. And this is honestly, this is not like for clickbait. This is not like for clout and all that. Right now, honestly, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. We haven't discussed the divorce. Uh, I haven't said anything else about the divorce. As of now, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> We don't know. How was Z first day of school? Did she make any friends in her classroom? That's another thing. Y'all know I didn't record Z going back to school because that was intimate too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everything I've been doing in the past week and a half been very intimate. And I'm going to um, attach Z first day of school pictures. I recorded her saying how was her first day of school. So I'm going to attach that video too so she could tell y'all herself. And she made a couple friends and she be talking on the bus y'all when the bus pull up. She still on the bus running her mouth. Get off the bus. But I understand she be on the bus talking to her, the people that she met and stuff. So that's cool. Hi. How was school? Good. What's your favorite part about school? Lunch and recess. L Z, lunch and recess is crazy. So your favorite part about school is lunch and recess. <laughs> L for real, Z, lunch and recess? Why, why your favorite part is lunch? We could make pizza. Y'all make your own pizza? Yeah. What about recess? It'd be fun. Because we play lots of games. Y'all play games? Yeah. Oh, okay. How's your Outside. teacher so far? How's your teacher so far? Good. Good? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Um, have you decided on other business opportunities you would like to bridge off into? Yes. Uh, I was thinking about starting a lingerie, not a lingerie, a pajama line. I really want to start a pajama line because y'all know I love some matching pajamas. And when I do put on my pajamas, people be like, where you get that from? 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 So I was like, I will wear a good PJ, okay? Xavier love, I know a matching pajama said, hate to see me coming because... <laughs> I love a good PJ. So, I was thinking about a pajama line. Uh, have you given going back to school another serious thought? Yeah, I had that thought and that thought left. You have to put so much time into that. And I don't think I'm ready to put so much time into nursing school right now. Like, you have to be focused. Like, it's, it's expensive. And if, I, if I'm going to invest my money into it, I want to be ready to settle down and be focused. If that makes sense. Can you do more home content, decorative stuff? I love those videos. I think, to be honest, 
Y'all ain't gonna get no more unless I like that little things like when I do my flower uh, thing for my island. Unless I do something like that, I don't think I'm doing anything else to this apartment because I'm not gonna be here next year. And my and this lease is up in December. I honestly think next year I'm not gonna be here. This lease is up in December, and I really want some. I really want Papa to come home. You know, Papa live his dad. Uh, if anything, I need to get um, a bigger place because. Z gets to have her own room. Papa got to have his own room. So I want a bigger space. So I don't think I will be here next year. And y'all know time is going fast. December is around the corner. So I was like, let me stop. You know, that's why I don't think I'm going to do the closet. Like, y'all remember I was going to build the shelves in the closet and stuff. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I'm not going to be here. And I don't want to be wasting no more time or no more money. Because they already going to take my deposit for painting the wall. <laughs> so... I'm just going to stop. So right now, how y'all see my place is how, it's gonna, how I'm leaving it. <laughs> this is how I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take everything because everything is fresh and new. You know, I started completely over. So I'm taking everything, of course. But I want something bigger so my baby can come home, you know. What is your favorite food? Soul food. I love soul food. Ribs, fried chicken, fish, uh, barbecue, macaroni and cheese, cabbage. I'll, anything that about soul food, spaghetti, I love soul food. Um, what is your favorite color? Pink. Lately, my favorite color has been pink. I've been into the pink. Um, can you name a place you would love to travel to? I want to go to Greece. That's it. <laughs> I want to go to Greece. Like I want to see the waters. I want to see Greece. I want to stay in a villa and all that good stuff. I want to go to Greece. How do you manage content creating, motherhood, and time for yourself? Um, I do it all together. Like, I make it come all together. So, when I do content, I'm mothering and I'm uh, doing stuff for myself. You know, I at the end of the day, it works for me because it all comes together. You know what I'm saying? So, when I'm mothering or if I'm doing like a self-care day or whatever, I'm doing content with it. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's like I'm mothering... I'm, I'm mothering. It's, it's nothing to it. Like, if, when I'm being a mother, I'm being a mother. When I'm doing my work, I'm doing my work. And when I have a time for myself, it's big mama time. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it's going to always be a time that is always going to come together. So, it just works. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing, I'm, while I'm doing content, I'm, I'm doing content of me mothering or I'm doing content of me taking care of myself. Like, it all comes together. All jokes aside, are you really done with your husband or is there something you feel that can be rekindled because we love y'all together? We love y'all too. Uh, am I really done with my husband? I can honestly say no, I'm not done with him. Um, we can rekindle. Uh, it's a few more things I feel like. And I'm not going to say like it's not working because y'all know... It, the more time go, you know, you start to see stuff within yourself, not just with him, me too. Like, I'm starting to see, like, what I went wrong, uh, what he went wrong, what I went wrong. Like, everything is not just on him. I know at the beginning it was, like, him, 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 him. But as time went on and I had time for myself and I sat back and thought, like, hold on. I played a big role in the BS2 or I played a big role in why he reacted like this or why I reacted like and I'm not just saying me 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 I'm just saying it's 50 50 both of us play a role in what happened and like as far as rekindling I feel like if we was to I feel like we both will come back stronger because we starting to see like ourselves. You get what I'm saying? Like me sitting up here by myself, I, I'm I'm be thinking like, oh, like it be thoughts coming to me like, damn, I could have did this instead of doing that, or I could have. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you when you step back and when you start to realize things, you be like, cause I know I do. I ain't gonna sit here and stun. I be like, damn, I could have did this better, or I could have. Let this go on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get into details, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, accountability. So, I don't know, y'all. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But right now, both of us is, like, really, really, really working on ourselves. And it's helping. So, if we do ever come back, it's gonna, I feel like it's going to be strong. Because 
he he growing what he got what he got to grow in and I've been over here growing while I have to grow in. So I honestly think if we do rekindle it's gonna be strong. Like y'all gonna have to it's gonna have to take a whole a whole world to come knock us down again. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be strong. I feel it. Like if we rekindle, it's gonna be strong. I feel it because how my man and how I look at things now, and you feel what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be strong. It's gonna be strong. Xavier, can you do some clothes haul uh, for yourself, like Fashion Nova or Sheen or anything like you like to shop from? Yes, I need to. Y'all, I do so much shopping, and then I be thinking like I got all these clothes. One, I don't go nowhere. My choice. It's like. I like being, y'all know Xavier, I like being at home, Xavier like being with her family, Xavier like chilling at the pool, Xavier like taking Z to the arcade, I do my club scene sometimes, but I really don't go nowhere, I, I just like to be chilling, and I be ordering all this stuff, I lay in my bed thirsty and happy because I got a little extra money, be ordering all this stuff, y'all, and I don't wear it, so I, I mess around and probably do, a, I can do a haul, because I got so much stuff, like, I don't even wear it, and y'all know what, when I step out, I put that shit out, so, I, I can start doing hauls and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how old were you when you had your first celebrity crush? And who was it? Chris Brown, of course. <laughs> Chris Brown. I think everybody's first celebrity crush was Chris Brown. Tell me, Phyllis, have you seen her? It was about five minutes ago. Then I seen the hottest chick that a young ain't never seen before. I say, yo. <laughs> I think everybody first crush was Chris Brown. I don't know. Don't get me wrong, but I would definitely say Chris Brown. I don't remember how old I was, but I was young. But it was Chris Brown. Uh, what keeps you motivated to keep doing YouTube? My supporters. Like I said at the beginning, my supporters come check in. Me talk about Xavier. Get your ass up on YouTube before we come looking for you. So, y'all scared me, so now we here. <laughs> but no, my supporters for sure keep me going. Um, if there was a way to save your marriage, what would it be? I would say therapy. And don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Yes, I would say therapy. And I'm saying don't shoot me because I know my day was probably like, Xavier, oh, not Xavier talking about therapy. You the main one talking about, I don't even know therapists tell me what the... I was that girl, but I would definitely, I, I would say therapy. <laughs> I would definitely, and that's why I told y'all, like, I play a role in a lot of stuff, too, because, like I just said about therapy, once upon a time, I was like, oh, what a therapist gonna tell me about mine? What a therapist gonna, woo, woo, woo. but now that I read, uh, growing, I'm taking accountability and all that, I'm starting to look at things different you know what i'm saying so to say my marriage i would honestly say there plus what we doing right now you know taking the time apart this play this is playing a big part you know what i'm saying and but for the most part i would say therapy 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 <laughs> who in your life do you look up to this could be a family friend or a celebrity um who do I look up to? Celebrity wise, I would say Beyonce. Uh, yeah, I would say Beyonce. I just love how Beyonce moves. Like, I don't care what like, all that other stuff people say about her. Oh, why Beyonce? Oh, she's demonic. She, that ain't got nothing to do with all that stuff. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm looking at her work ethic. I'm looking at how strong she is mentally. Like, people talk about her child. People talk about her career, her marriage, all that. And Beyonce, you can't find one video. You can't find one post where Beyonce addressed anything. And I just love that, like, you have to be strong, okay? to Because you talk about my daughter, I'm coming to look for you. Like, I'm, I'm coming to look, and I'm treating you. And I'm talking about your dead people, your grandma. You can't find no video where Beyonce is addressing anything. And I love her work ethic. And, yeah, like, I just, I just love that about her. I don't know. I, I hope that makes sense. All that other stuff, her marriage, her husband, ugh, I don't care about none. That's dumb people business. That's their personal life. I'm talking about what I know for a fact. It ain't no video out here Beyonce addressing anybody. I just love Beyonce. I love how she move as a woman. Like, I just love Beyonce. I don't know. No Beyonce slander under here or you will get blocked. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Xavier, just want to say you're a pretty great role model. I love your videos so much, and your family is beautiful as well. Thank you, and I appreciate that. 
Um, what do you miss about blocks the most? What do I miss about blocks the most? Um, I would say his love. Um, I never doubted that he didn't love me. He always, he, he's in love with me, you know? He don't even love me, he's in love with me. Still in love with me. But I would say like, I miss that. And when y'all know what comes with love, like the hugs, the kisses, like he was really good at that, you know what I'm saying? Like his love, his love is strong. Like everybody loves him and he loves everybody. He just like this, Big, and and y'all know this too, like he walked in a room and he just, I don't know, it's like people flock to him and he just got a good spirit and he's just lovable. He's just like a big teddy bear, but don't, don't, you feel me, don't take this back, but like he's just lovable, like, and he loves people too, and then I just miss his love and like, I don't know if that makes sense, I just, I miss his love. <laughs> uh... What color would you dye your hair that you haven't tried before? I haven't tried, um, well, actually dyed my hair. Well, y'all know I tried different color wigs. Like, I had red wigs. I had a pink wig. I had a blue wig. I had a burgundy wig. I had a gray wig. I had a black, of course. I had a brown wig. Um, when I was younger, I dyed my hair. My real hair burnt orange. I would say the only thing I haven't tried was green. I guess. I try green. I haven't tried green. Um, what is your favorite part about being a content creator? Favorite part about being a content creator is the freedom that come with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can stay home with my kids. Like, Papa don't like to go daycare. Maybe you got daycare at the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got daycare at the house. Why you go to daycare for? I don't work. Well, I work, but I don't go into work and do nothing like that. Like, I love the freedom where I can stay home with my kids. I'm able to get my kid off the bus, I'm able to take my kids this and this and still work because I do content creation. So that's like my favorite part about it is the freedom. And that's why I've been telling, trying to encourage people, if you want to do it, you should because especially if you have kids, like, it comes with a lot of freedom. And I'm so blessed for that, especially as a mom. Because I know how hard it is for moms to go to work. Yeah, you got to get the kids. Some moms got to figure out how to get the kids home how to take them to school, got to be at work the same time the kids. You know, I get how hard that can be. But with content creation, it, it gives me a lot of freedom and a lot of time with my family. You know what I'm saying? So that's my favorite part about it. Somebody said, proud of your growth. Stay up. Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you happy where you are in life right now? <sighs> uh, am I happy? Am I happy? Am I happy? Yes. I was out here. Mentally, I've been okay. Um, yes, I would say I'm pretty happy right now. I don't get, yeah, I'm, 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 how long will you give blocks to get it together before you're just done with it? And would you stay together for the kid's sake? Yes, I will stay together for the kid's sake. I'm going to ask the second question first. Uh, if you're, as long as you're not beating on me. Or like constantly, constantly. I'm talking about like constantly, constantly, constantly cheating on me. Like it just kept, you just got so comfortable that you're doing it in my face. I would stay together for the kids' sake. Cause even right now, I be thinking like I want my kids to be at home with both parents. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't, I don't. I always hated the thought of okay, you going to dance this weekend, then you come with mom for the week. I always hated the the thought of that. I just love a two-parent household. But like I said, you're not just going to be beating on me and constantly cheating on me and I'm just staying for the kids. But if it's like something that's fixable and workable, it's just like, yeah, why not? You know what I'm saying? Um, the first question was, how long will you get blocked to get it together? To the end of this year, point blank period. Like like I said, Papa lived with his dad, so he lived with me, but I want both my kids. I got to get another place, so to the end... To the end of this year, it's just like, and I'm just being a hundred with y'all. To the end of the year, like, what we doing? You know, what what we doing? Cause I gotta. <coughs> oh, you know what we doing? What we doing? How, what, we we finna go ahead and get this divorce. We finna go to counseling therapy. 
we finna work it out. What, what, what we doing? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you said for blocks to get it together. And that's why it's crazy that I'm like, I'm just... It's not all him, y'all. And I can just say that because you said for blocks to get it together. And both of us need to get it together. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm just getting both of us to the end of the year. Because so, both of our leases up. We moved in our places at the same time. Both of our leases up in December. So, I feel like around Thanksgiving, we, we need to sit down and for real talk to each other personally. And be like, what is we doing? Is we, we going to counseling? I want to go to therapy. I want to go to counseling. Are you willing to go to counseling therapy to fix this? Are you willing to move back in the house together with our kids? Am I taking Papa, which is not an option? Because that's what I'm doing anyway. Um, like, I'm taking my son. I'm going to a bigger house. You know what we doing. So, I will give both of us the end of the year to figure out. Okay, now it's time to sit down and figure out what we doing. You feel me? <laughs> Um, not a question, but keep pushing, Black Queen. Thank you, thank you. What's your favorite type of weather? I like, I like, I would say, give me 80 degrees. I love for it to be hot. I, I don't like the cold at all, like at all. People come to my house like, it'd be 100 degrees in Georgia. I would not have my air on. Even ZB in here talks, it's hot. Turn on the ceiling fan. Because I'll be cold. I'm anemic. I'll be cold. So give me a good 75, 80, 85 degree weather. Now, I don't like it too hot. When you go like past the 90s, okay, I got to stay in the house. But give me a good 75, 80, 85. We good. We outside. I love a good warm weather, you know. What's something you never had but wish you had? I'll say a better relationship with my mom. Am I getting too deep? When we talk about materials? <laughs> It might get too deep, but if it was a deep question, I would say a better relationship with my mom. You know what I'm saying? Never had it, wish I had it. Period. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Ooh, Thanksgiving. I would say, I would say Christmas, but I just feel like it's more about material. So I'm not even going to say Christmas. I would honestly say Thanksgiving. I know I'm a family girl. I love family. So just coming together with all the kids, cooking. Because like last year, we went, we spent Thanksgiving in Chicago. Um, we, me and Darnell did a uh, big Airbnb. Uh, his people came. My people came. And it was just a bad Me and my sister was cooking. You know that bond. You cooking in the kitchen, your people around, the kids all together. It is a big family thing. Then you got good food. And then y'all know soul food is my favorite food. So, hello. like So, I would definitely say Thanksgiving. Because it's just like a big, huge family vibe. Like, everybody together. Everybody eating. Everybody playing games. Having fun. Matching pajamas. It's just a vibe. What celebrities be in your DMs? None of y'all business. It's some blue checks in there, but none of y'all business. It, 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 it's, it's some things. It's some, it's some in there, too. <laughs> but, y'all, for the most part, like, no tea, no shade. These, most of these celebrity men, they just be wanting to hit. Okay? Like, they be wanting to hit. Yeah. I'm not giving up nothing. Like, I've never been the type to, like, just be out here freaking or, oh, he got a blue check, he got a million followers, he got a million dollars, let me go bust my coochie open. No, never been a type, so. But it's some, it's some, it's some decent, it's some decent teams in there. <laughs> Who is the strongest person you know besides yourself? That is a crazy question. That is a crazy question. Who is the strongest person you know besides yourself? Because you know what's crazy? I was going to say myself, but you said besides myself? The strongest person I know besides myself. I would say, I would say Darnell. I would, I would honestly say Darnell. And I would say him because he takes so much. Like, he takes so much and, like, he go through his shit too. And he do it, like, so gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I never don't really put his business on the internet a lot like I do. Uh, <laughs> but, like, behind the scenes, he do go through a lot of stuff, and he do take a lot of stuff. And I see he got to take me, and, I, and I'm a lot. But, <laughs> he, I would say him, he, he, he's, he, he's 
he, 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 he's a really strong man. Yeah, I would say him. Uh, how did you and Darnell start off doing pranks? But like I said before, I used to watch YouTube. Like Darnell and used to, I used to like watch YouTube, and I, and I used to be like, I could do this. So I just up there one day and just did a prank on him. I don't know. I just up one day and did a prank on him. Then we just started, you know, we just started keeping it going. Like, would you really be happy for blocks if he started dating someone else? I feel like if we marry still and you trying to take somebody serious, I would be upset. You know, instead of just you out here having fun or whatever, whatever, you take it like somebody real, real serious. I don't know why. If we still married, I would be upset. But you know, have fun. We separate and do what you do. But like, if we divorce, sat still and delivered, like, well, I can't be mad. What I'm mad for? I'll probably be with my new up. What y'all saying? I'll probably be with my new man. What is the worst job you had? Y'all, Rivers Casino in Chicago, like, they hit us standing and walking, standing and walking the whole ship. We could not sit down unless we was on break. Like we secured the doors for the for most of our shift, and they didn't even let us sit down. Like I hated that job. Like I walked out. I took my microphone off and my badge, sat it on the countertop, and I walked off, and I never came back. <laughs> but Rivers Casino in Chicago. Uh, who was your favorite person? Both my kids. My favorite persons right now are my two kids, Zendaya and Zaire. Those are my babies. I love them so much. Y'all already know I will go to war about them. Yay. Have you decided to move to Chicago? No, I'm not coming to Chicago. <laughs> I'm not moving back. Can't do it. Not going. When, uh, oh, the next question was when y'all coming back to Chicago? I'm coming back to Chicago for Thanksgiving. Uh, my sister got a new place. She moved to her new place the same time I moved in here. And her new place is real nice. So we're going to do Thanksgiving this year at her house. So the next time. And I was just in Chicago for my friend's birthday party. But the next time I go back to Chicago is going to be for Thanksgiving. Um, what is something that you could eat all day? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. I think I could eat spaghetti all day. How do you handle the negative comments? I just try not to read them. Sometimes some of them begin to me, especially like when I talk about my kids, but for the most part, I try not to read them. Period. If you ever made a movie, what would it be called? Hmm. If I ever made a movie, what would it be called? If I ever make a movie, what would it be called? I don't know. Can I come back to that? That's crazy. That's not what I have to think about. Because now you may want to shoot a movie. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite day of the week and why? My favorite day of the week and why? I would say Saturday. It's a weekend. My baby don't be at school. Um... It's, it's Saturday is like a chill day for everybody. You know, it's like mostly a chill day. You get to spend time with your kids, your family, whoever. Most people don't work on weekends. So, Saturday, a weekend day. What advice do you have for first-time mommies? Um, first-time mommies, do what's best. Always do what's best for you and your child. Don't listen to outsiders. You know what's best for you and your child. You know what kind of parent you want to be for your child. I'm not saying don't take any advice, but I'm just saying like don't don't let people just be all in your ear about what you doing, what you can't do, what you ain't doing, you know. Do you take care of your child how you want to? Do the do the things you want to do. Do it the ways you want to do it. Period. And always show up. I, 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 I'm heavy on always show up. Like, always show up for your child. Always be your child first cheerleader. Period. Like, <laughs> just always show up. Kids, no matter what, kids notice. And they, and they look at that. Always show up. And just be the best mommy you can be. Just be the best. And don't, don't judge yourself. Like, don't criticize yourself. You doing it. That baby loves you. You, 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 you doing it. Cause I know us mommies gonna be like, am I doing enough or should I be? You doing it, baby. You doing it. Don't don't punch yourself up too bad. You doing it. You got this. 
Period. And like I said, always show up. If you can, I know how to get, but if you can, always show up for your child. Be your child cheerleader. Period. What high school did you go to? I went to Dunbar Academy in Chicago, on the south side of Chicago. Uh, what's currently on your mind? What's currently on my mind? Um, uh, what is currently on my mind? I would say how I could build my, I just been really thinking about like my business ventures and how can I build my, um, make my platform, like my YouTubes and my Facebook and all that, how can I make my platforms, well my work period, how can I make my work better, how can I make my content creation better and just business ventures, like I've been really just focused on like things, how I can, how I can elevate for the most part. Can we get a morning routine with Z? Y'all can't listen to me boring. Y'all know Z is just so, she's just so, uh, like Z just be in her own little world. I don't know where she get that from. I have a big personality. Darnell have a big personality. Like Z, why is you just so blah? <laughs> like she's just like, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. I didn't want to have another baby with blocks or a different person. And me and Diana, I do want another baby. I want one more. I want three kids. I want another daughter. If it don't work out and I move on, of course, I'm going to have another child with the spouse I'm with. But for the most part, I want all my children to have the same dad. And I really would love my next daughter to be by Darnell. Did you watch TV today? If so, what did you watch? Right now, I'm watching Night Agent. It's on Netflix, y'all. Have y'all seen Night Agent? Night Agent is good. I encourage y'all to go watch it. Now, y'all know Xavier said, child, it's good. Night Agent is good, y'all. Y'all should go watch it. On Netflix, Night Agent is good. What attracted you to Darnell? His personality. Like I told y'all before, he laughed me right at my drawers. He laughed me at my panties. Uh, <laughs> I'm just giggling, taking my clothes off, laugh. <laughs> laugh me right out my clothes. Laugh me right out the coochie. <sighs> true story, true story. But no, for for the most part, his personality, like, um, he got a dope personality. He make me laugh all the time. Like, it's not no day. Like, I know y'all be like, I'm aggravated with him, but then at the end of the day, y'all see me, I'll be like, <sighs> Dude, that's even why I'm laughing because that's how he is. Like, he just makes your day. Like, he's just so funny and he got, like, this big spirit and this big light and this big personality. And that's what attracted me to him. Can you do a Chicago meet and greet? Yes, I'm working on it. For real, for real, I'm really working on it, y'all. Uh, what's your next hairstyle? I think I'm going to continue to get some more braids. After these braids, I think I'm going to do some more knot lists. When are you in blocks getting back together? We don't know. Catch us in November. Ask me this question in November. After Thanksgiving. Be like, Xavier, did y'all talk what we doing? <laughs> Somebody said, is it hard getting your kids to break off you and go with their dad? Is it not a problem for you? No, and that's crazy because my, my kids love both of us. Like Zendaya and Zaya. Like if Darnell walking here right now they is going to jump up and down and go crazy and it's vice versa at his house and then it's like when he coming to get them y'all these kids be like bye like y'all seeing them these kids be like bye and then if they with darnell and i come get them they like they not like crying out they coming right for they like love both but it's just so crazy like that's what, i don't know it's just like so crazy like I know some kids, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's not nothing wrong with that. I know some kids, they go up to dad, they be crying, kicking for the mama. And that's cool. It's not, I'm not saying nothing wrong with that, but I'm saying, like, I love how I don't have to deal with that. My kid, like, he come, they don't have a problem with bad. They, like, they gone. I come get them. They, they come with me. It's just easy. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a blessing. <laughs> Um, do you have a birthmark? Yes, I have a heart actually. That's how you know I am a sweetheart. I've always been a sweetheart because my birthmark is a heart. I don't know if y'all can see it right here. It's actually a heart. Hello, I'll show my toolies. But it's a heart, y'all. It's a birthmark and it's a heart. I am just that. I am that just that. I'm just, I was born a sweetheart. Like, y'all don't understand. I am a sweetheart. Like, 
my birthmark is a heart like who like he knew what he was doing <laughs> that was all the questions uh i love y'all i really love all my supporters who reached out to me like baby you okay why you ain't on youtube girl get your ass back on youtube i love y'all thank y'all for always supporting me i'm back uh, thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Turn that post notification bell so you know when Xavier is on your screen. I'm gonna show y'all the kids and then I'm out. Look at him. Look at him. Don't run. Why would you do that to her stuff? Don't run. Look at him. He know he in trouble. He done got all her dirty clothes out the bed. Z, do you want to speak to the people? Yeah. How goes that back set? What? Hold on. <laughs> Look at her, y'all. On her iPad, she be taking advantage of the weekend. Because on a weekday, she know. <laughs> Papa, say hey. Mama, I want a milk. Blow a kiss. Thank you. Take us out, Z.